Welcome to Mind Care, where we bring you information on mental health trauma and how to overcome, not just coping. We're about overcoming the various traumas that life has thrown at us. So with today, we actually have a question that came in. By the way, if you have not already done so, please subscribe to our channel and like this video after you watched it, of course, and let us know what you think on the this, uh, comment below. Also, if you have a mental health question or anything relating to trauma, and how to, or information that you just want to know about mental health, um, please send your questions to 706-609-0404. So we have our first question, well, we have a question that came in today. So let's go ahead and play this uh, recording for you. And likewise, if you have a question, again, don't forget to go ahead and send your, your question in today. So this is the question that we're going to answer. Let's listen to what our one of our viewers have submitted for us. Hello, I have a question about um, a modality for treating trauma, and I've never heard of it before. It is called EMDR, uh, Edward Michael, Dr. Randy, EMDR, and just wanted to find out what this really entails, um, where it originated, and is it something that... Um, we should be looking into uh, applying um, for trauma. All right, thank you. So this is a really good question. We've actually had that question submitted to us a couple of times, so we're going to take our time to really answer that question for all who are interested in understanding um, about EMDR. Now, as a trauma therapist or individual that deal with trauma, this is a very common information um, that is out there. It is a very common modality that has kicked into the scene. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about EMDR and the roots of it and what does it look like. It's, that person is actually asking about a therapy modality. So it's a, a type of modality that's out there to treat trauma. Um, and we want to be very careful that when we hear information, we don't just sink out uh, our minds into trying anything, especially if it's not biblically based because this is very important when we're talking about the mind we're talking about spiritual things so a little bit background for you uh we have had individual call us and ask us about um hypnotizing <laughs> yeah they've called the office and asked me hey, do i hypnotize and so forth and so for those who don't know what hypnotizing is let's let's go ahead and look at the screen real quick and share with you what hypnotism is or hypnotherapy as some people might refer to it's actually a form of, of just trying to um, give your mind over to someone else so that they can calm you. They use uh, relaxation and they try to engage you into focusing on something or some idea or some event in your mind. Um, and, and, and again, trying to get you to the state of mindfulness, as some people like to refer to a heightened state of mindfulness, where you can almost feel like you're asleep. And so you're turning your mind over to someone else to do as they please, to to, to make you feel calm and comfortable and so forth and so on. And we're told to be very careful about that because why would you want to give your mind to someone else that, again, you don't even know? That's number one. Um, so what exactly is EMDR? EMDR actually stands for Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing. So true story, there's a lady by the name, I think she's a, a, a psychologist herself, she um, was in a park. Her name is uh, Francine Shapiro. And it is said that um, she was going through some things. And as her eye was moving from left to right and back and forth, she realized this calmness. She went out for a walk in the park. And she was looking left and right. And she saw, she saw that she was actually more calm. And, her, her, and, and, you know, just the eye movement seemed to be assisting her in nature. And so she took this information and took it to um, Harvard and, and some clinicians that were there 
and share that perhaps there's something to the eye movement that was happening. Mind you, she was at the park. So maybe nature has something to do with it. But anyways, that's not the, where the credit was given. The credit was given to her eye movement left and right. And, um, and they started doing some studies and seeing how people that had experienced trauma were feeling after they were looking left and right and engaging in whatever trauma in their minds that they had experienced. And they found that the more they, they shared this, this story and uh, again, t either tapping, looking, make, making their eyes move left and right, they were being more calm. They felt more at ease and their, um, I guess experience was not as traumatic in their mind. So, um, long story short, they did some studies with more studies. Their feelings um, seem to be more calm and they seem to be more at ease. Again, they were more at a state of sleepiness and so forth. So their minds were more calm. So that's the whole history behind EMDR. And let me give you um, a little quick video to watch that this is actually a very popular thing that's happening right now. A lot of people are engaging into the EMDR world, having experienced trauma. They're like, well, you know, I don't want to deal with this trauma in my mind constantly. And all, of course, the, um, the diagnosis of, of, of PTSD. Let's, let's try this EMDR thing is what's happening right now in this world. So let me go ahead and play this course, short video. And I'm gonna we now have Prince Harry, a longtime champion of mental health, giving the world a look at, ho at how he heals, allowing cameras into his therapy session where he uses EMDR. It's a technique to help treat trauma. Maggie Ruley has that story for us. Good morning, Maggie. This morning, Prince Harry, as we've never seen him before, inviting the world into his private therapy session. For me, it's all about prevention. The Prince sharing this intimate moment on a new mental health documentary series with Oprah on Apple TV. London is a trigger, unfortunately, because of what happened to my mum and because of what I experienced and what I saw. He says after years of therapy, he's now discovered eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, better known as EMDR therapy. Just notice what comes up. He shows people what a session looks like. Was there a particular trip or does it happen every time? Is it always the same? It happens every time. Everything feels tense. It's being the hunted um, and, and, not, and being helpless. We see Harry crossing his arms and tapping on each. Where they go back and forth, tapping their hands to actually help them move their, uh, their eyes left and right. Or they will have a, an individual monitoring and actually doing the practice for them for their eyes to move. The whole thing is moving the movement of the eyes, whether it be using a tapping format or even your fingers to help that individual move their eyes left to right. Now, with this said, is this something that we should engage in? EMDR is actually a form of hypnotizing. It's actually turning your mind off so that you can you know, not dwell upon certain things, but it's actually not even getting down to the root of the issue. We're told, you know, there, there, there are things that's going to help individuals to deal with the trauma. It's actually going through the experience in a helpful manner, you know, to, to talk about the, uh, um, the experience in a way that they can see, you know, and understand what is there lessons that I can learn from this? Is there a mindset that I should have when this event comes to my mind? Um, and again, it's not a biblically sound based practice. Why? Because anything that's turning your frontal lobe off is not a good practice for you to be actually able to process um, anything properly. Um, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, we're told. The mind of Christ is what we need to have, not another person's mind or turn off our minds to deal with the traumas that we have. And we're told in Colossians 2 verse 8, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiment of the world, and not after Christ. Again, there and even the experience of Francine, uh, who was the founder of this, uh, she didn't give credit to the fact that she was out in a park. She was in nature. There's a lot of research that show that nature actually has a lot of healing um, ability, you know, to go out into nature, to see the creation that God has, has put out, that the beauty that still exists even in this world of pain. We can still find beauty in the ashes of our lives as well. And so 
please, 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 before you dive yourself and turning yourself into some person, some other person to 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 mess with your mind, um, lest any other spirit comes in, please be careful. I personally would not recommend this therapy for any person, but you know, um, we all have choices to make. But do your own research. See if it is of Christ. See that um, you know you not fall into something because it's also popular. That is all I have for today. Please, again, submit your questions, 706-609-0404, and we will definitely dive into more conversation. If you have more questions about this, again, you can, of course, send your question to us, and we perhaps might have even a panel discussion about EMDR. We need to be very careful lest we are deceived. God bless you. Look forward to hearing from you guys, and like, like this video, subscribe, um, and let us know what you think. God bless.